see you back. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we've got a bit of a mix match today because I weren't sure what I was going to was going to do uh, on my video. Um, so I've had an idea because I wanted to share with you the bedding, the second bed. No, that's not right. Forget I said the second bedding. Right. So the leopardy print bedding, and I also bought the other set of bedding, but with a white. Um, What's that thing called? Quilt cover. So do you remember when I had, all I bought was the pillowcases, white bedding, and what else did I buy? And the little cushions to go with it. Do you remember when I bought that? So I'm gonna show you that, but I'm also gonna do a quick review on a memory foam topper, which we've just bought, and a mattress which I bought off the internet and I'm going to tell you what a load of old crap that is. So I'm going to show you that, then I'm going to show you my craft room because it's an absolute tip and then I'm going to challenge myself to make maybe two or three crafts from all of my stash what I've got, but we'll come to that in a minute, right? So. It's that time again. It's Prosecco o'clock. So grab yourself a glass of bubbly. I've got it in my 50p glass from the pound shop. And um, cheers. Go and get yours and meet me upstairs, all right? So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so this is the bedding. Um, well, we'll start off with the mattress first because I just wanted to tell you about the mattresses, what I've got, and a couple of new pillows. So. I'm just going to warn you all now. No, that's not warn you. Well, kind of it is, but I don't want people to get stitched up from buying stuff off the internet. So that's what I'm trying to say. So this mattress is fairly new. We bought this about three months ago, literally. Um, we bought it off the internet uh, from a company. I can't even remember what it's called. I really, really can't remember what it's called, but it it was like doing mattresses. Anyway, it was £500, um, and they, they said it comes from Dreams, right? It was a Dreams mattress. It does say Comfort Dreams on there, but when I went, I took a picture of this label because I was a bit suspicious when it came. Um, and I took it down to this picture, down to Dreams, and they said it's nothing to do with them whatsoever. This isn't one of those mattresses. Now, on here, it clearly says Memory Ortho, uh, dual-sided mattress. It is not a dual-sided mattress, and it's not a memory foam. If it was a memory foam, it would, um, it makes, oh, you know what I mean? You, you lay, I'll show you, because I've got the, the uh, top up, so I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But you know, like you lay on it and it contours to your body. Well, this don't, it just bounces back. That, that's just not a memory foam mattress. It's all got pulls in it. Now, it didn't have pulls when it came, but it, but it has, for some reason, it's all started to fray down the middle it's completely bobbly um it says cool touch on it <sighs> well you know what does that mean um and then when you look at the side it's a completely different color absolutely completely different color um the label actually comes off it's not even it's not even stitched on it looks like when you look at this you think oh it's got it is stitched on but that's not that's just a pattern um, so someone's made this label and just stuck it on the mattress. Um, now, sorry, my mattress isn't dirty. It, the colour from the um, the blue sheet has, has obviously rubbed off on here. Um, so I need to, needed to put a mattress topper on there. But um, I bought a, not mattress topper, what you call it? Mattress protector. But I've actually bought a mattress topper now. Um, anyway, so yeah, so all that came off. It's not dual sided, as I said. Um, it's just, I can't lift it up because it's too heavy, but it's just plain underneath there. Um, I can feel, when I push this in, now this is supposed to be memory foam, I can feel springs in here. And I'm presuming that a memory foam does not, like a temper mattress does not have springs. I can feel all the springs in here. And that probably if I rip that open, which I don't want to do, <laughs> I reckon it's going to be absolutely awful. There's like a wooden... I don't know what this is in here, but there's a, there's like a wooden 
um, slab or, or um, what am I trying to say, like a board, big board, and then a tiny bit of mattress. That thick is sitting on top of this board and then underneath there's springs. I just think, what a rip-off. So we've been, and we tried to get out of the company and of course we've never heard from them. Um, so, I, yeah, a bit disappointed with that. Well disappointed. So please don't buy any mattresses off the internet or anything you're not sure about. If, it, if it, you think it's a good price, it's probably too good to be true. Anyway, so we bought to go on top of it because I'm not going to go and buy another 500 pound or you know mattress um I've bought one of these memory foam toppers it has made a huge difference it's really comfortable now this is from Dunelm this is the box it come in it was 185 pound for a king now I don't know whether that's a good price or not because I've never bought one of these before um but this is the um what uh, the, the name of it uh and it also says it's got a 10 year guarantee so um that's the make down the bottom there um and yeah it's it's actually really nice it's a really nice topper it's got elasticated bits here so you can hook them over your mattress um and and this is a memory foam it does when you lay on it you know for a long period of time you can feel it, it molds to your body it is really comfortable so if you've got an absolute awful mattress and you can't afford to buy another one and you can just about stretch to a topper I would recommend this. It's really, it's really nice. What you have to do is you have to get it out of the box. It's all rolled up in a curl in there. And when you have to, when you get it out, you have to lay it out for 72 hours to let it spring and, and air. Um, but yeah, but, but you can see as well, a lot of the blues come off of the, the dyes come off of the, um, uh, the sheet again. So I've got to get another uh, mattress protector to put over the top of that. We also bought the um, memory foam pillows as well to go with it. Um, I've bought a contour one because I, I've got back problem and a neck problem. And Sean just bought the ordinary one, which is this one here. I haven't got mine out of the box yet. Um, but if you do get them and you do take them out of the box, once you've opened this up, you can't take them back. So just make sure that you know, you're know you fairly confident that these are the ones you want. So as I say, I haven't tried them yet. Um, and again, you have to get them out 72 hours prior. Um, the reason we bought these as well is, be, be, you know, we were, try, we were trying to find loads of different types of pillars and they're either going all flat or, you know, um, not comfortable. So we thought, our friends have got these type, but they've got the temper ones and they really highly recommend them. But I didn't want to spend loads of money on however much they are. I think they're selling like 300 pounds each or something for these pillows. So I thought, well, okay then, let's go for these. They're £35 each. You can't take them back, I know that. But for £35, if we really liked them and they made a huge difference, I would consider investing in the Temple ones. But I'm going to try these out first because, you know, £300 for a pillow is a lot of money. So anyway, there you go. That's the little um, bit about the mattress and the toppers and all that business. Um, and then I'm going to put the new bedding set on, the other one I bought, the Emma Willis range. And when I tidied this room up and made that, I'll come back and show you, show you the new bedding. So here's the bedding. I actually really like it, to be fair. Um, and what I've done with the throws, I've just hung them over the corners. Just to give it something slightly different. You know, it makes a change from having the, the throws right the way across the middle there. So I've literally, um, sorry, I'm absolutely rubbish with this camera. Um, literally dangled them over. Oh, let me come around this side, hold on a minute. Um, yeah, if you can see from here, all I've done is literally cornered them over, both sides there, into like a V shape. Again, I like the creases down the middle so it don't look so flat and, and what's the word, severe looking, if that makes sense. But the actual pillars as well, they look really nice. Now, considering the, the quilt cover was a tenner, these were a fiver each. The pillar cases at the top, they were a fiver each. The other little pillars was a fiver each. And these ones I got from BM. Can't remember how much they are, but you guys, if you've watched the other video, you'll remember. Nothing else has changed in here. Everything else is the same. Um, oh, apart from your lovely leopard up there. 
sitting looking over us. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to do some mirrored decal on the top of the mirrors here. I'm probably not going to do the whole lot. I think I'm just going to do a border on each top drawer. So this one, oh God, this one and those two over there. So I'm going to do that uh, maybe next week or so. I'm going to see how I'll get on with that. Let's quickly show you my bathroom while I'm here. Because I'm going to do a couple of DIYs in here as well. But you haven't seen my bathroom yet. So anyway, in you come. Now, this is the bathroom that Jack built. Right? It's been done absolutely terrible. So here you can see a great big crack. When we came here, we told the builders about that and they absolutely did nothing. So we've got this here sitting there like that until we sort it out. Um, now what I'm going to do over here um, is, I'll move this out of the way. I've got a real wasted space here. So I'm going to try and make like um, a shelf, if you like, across there to bridge this bit in here. So then I can put in my little products down there, my bleach and bathroom spray and everything. Um, I don't like nothing on show. So I'm going to try it. So how I'm going to do it is going to try and put some foam board across there and some foam board up here, but kind of have it like a little door, if you like. I'm going to put a little handle on it so I can open it. It won't have any hinges or anything. It's not going to be absolutely perfect. It's just going to be something to look nicer than what it is at the moment. These little toilet roll holders, I know there's probably a lot of people got them. Um, these always go rusty. So I've sprayed this one and it's actually come out quite well. It was all, it was silver, but down the bottom it's all rusty and, and I'm presuming it's because bathrooms get damp from condensation. Um, so we took this outside, actually Sean sprayed it for me um, in the, in the Rust-Oleum white gold and it's actually come out quite nice. So that's that little one. Um, this sink's not too bad. And we've got like a tail rail there. We couldn't have a mirror here above the sink because, sorry, I'm not very, you know, I'm on the camera again. Uh, we couldn't have a, because there's all wires and everything behind there. So we cannot hang a picture or a mirror there. So that's why that wall looks really bare. But it does need something, it does need something. So I might actually do something with, um, what do they call them? Command, command strips and put something there because it just took, looks too bland. And the color scheme is very bland as well, as you can see. Then as I come around um, this way and this way, um, it's not that big. So, I've, and I've got nowhere to put any towels. So I need to have some sort of shelving or something going on there or behind the door. So I've got a little gap here so I, I could have a little tall boy um, and roll my tails in just to put to stack them in there. So I need to do something like that. This shower tray is awful. As you can see, we've got gaps. It is one of the cheapest things, honestly, a builder's ever put in here. Um, it's got cracks in it all the way down here. It's got gaps. It, oh my good God, she's just pulled it up. As you can see, it all comes apart. Honestly, it's absolutely awful. Um, we've had about three leaks so far. And uh, yeah, there you go. So here's our little shower. Nothing fancy at all. Very plasticky and very cheap. And the only way we could have a mirror was there. Because it's the only wall, an external wall, with no wires in it. Um, and I actually bought this from TK Maxx, it's £20. But the grey silvery goes really nice with the creamy colour tiles. Now, if you'd said to somebody, what, silver and, and cream or beige? You would think, oh, don't know about that. But it actually goes really, really nice. And then obviously we've got a mirror here. So, let's come out of the bathroom now. It's a bit claustrophobic. Oh my God, look at the state of it in here. Seriously, I've got so much stuff. All this, right, actually is my daughter's because my daughter does um, tattooing. 
uh, not tattooing as in like, you know, tattoo on your arm and stuff like that, but she does um, lip tattooing. So there are colors for her lips, eyebrow tattooing. Um, what else tattooing does she do? Lips and eye, eyebrow. Oh, and eyeliner, she does eyeliner as well. Like permanent, what's it called? Semi-permanent makeup, that's the word. Anyway, so that's still hers here. She's moved out six months ago and I've still got it here. And this was her beauty room, which is now my craft room. And, and there's a, still her shelves over there with the stuff on it. Anyway, so this is my craft room. This was completely empty square. And we went to Ikea and bought these units to go in here. I've got, they're filled with flowers. I've got balloons. What else have I got in here? I've got picture frames. I've got polystyrene teddies, I've got boxes, I've got mirrors, oh my god, honestly, and I've got things like this, right, which is supposed to be going to have flowers around it, um, around here, around here, I've got my cricket machine here somewhere, god knows where that, I've got photo frames, I've got photo frames, uh, drawers filled with stuff, what's in this drawer, look, decals you name it i've got it in here honestly i've got some spray turning stuff because that's my daughter's as well because she does spray turning yeah so i've got flowers i've got vases oh my good god i've got boxes so my challenge is to try and make a couple of things out of all this stuff yeah, so this week, my idea, she says, is to clear out that room and try and do uh, maybe two or three craft projects. So I'm setting myself a challenge, right? Now, you know the box, the dormer box, which the bed topper came out of. I'm going to try and make that into a side table. Don't ask me how at the moment. I've got a kind of vision in mind how I want to do it. Um, but I, I might change my mind. Who knows? Um, I do random things, as you probably are aware of that by now. You know. So... Yeah, I'm going to try and do something like that. I'm going to try and use up some of the stuff I've got in that room. The problem with me is I go out, like the pound shop, for instance, right? I go down the pound shop and I and I see a vision. I walk around there and I get my toiletries and all my bits and pieces and stuff like that, right? But then I see things and I think, oh, I could do something with that and I buy it. Oh, yeah, I could do something with that and I buy it. So before you know it, I've spent 50 quid on stuff, I bring it home, chuck it in that room, but I never actually get round to doing the bits for myself. And I'll tell you why as well. The other reason why is, if you follow my um, Instagram and my Facebook page, and I'll leave the link below to those, I, I'm not telling you to follow them, Don't, I, it's not about that. But if you want to, go on there and have a look. I do a lot of um, home decor things as I've said before, and I, and I have a lot of ladies and gents as well who buy off of me because I just love creating nice home decor. So I buy a lot of stuff and I create it for other people and I never get round very rarely to do stuff for myself because I just don't have time. But this week, I'm definitely going to try and challenge myself. Instead of going out and buying more stuff, to go in that room, clear it out, and try and make myself some things that I want for my home. I've gradually done a few bits and pieces, as you know, because you've seen. Um, but I need I need a few a few more bits and pieces, especially for this for, for, for this area here, the kitchen, kitchen, dining room, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm not quite ready to show you the other side of this camera yet because it's not finished, and I'm. I will do a bit before and after, but I just want to, you know, do a bit more to it first, then I'll show you. <laughs> she says, anyway, guys, I hope it, I haven't bored you too much. Um, and then, 
hopefully, if I get to do that challenge, by the weekend, I might have shown it, something to show you. I might do kind of um, a, a DIY um, tutorial, no, not a tutorial. It's not like I'm trying to teach you how to do something, but like a DIY show you what I've used and how I'm doing it. Does that make sense? So anyway, um, we'll, we'll have a go at that, all right? We'll see how I'll get on with it, all right? So anyway, have a nice evening, everybody, all right? Take care of yourselves. Enjoy this sunshine, because you never know how long it's going to last. You know what this English weather's like? So unpredictable, all right? So anyway, take care of yourselves, all right? Finish your bubbly. Like, 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 look, I've nearly drunk it now. And I'll see you at the weekend, all right? Take care. See you soon. Bye.